One thing that strikes people when they walk down the streets of Huntington are the unique and sometimes downright odd businesses that have established themselves. Who could have imagined a combination aquarium and music store, or a coffee shop where you can do your own laundry, or a handcrafted glass shop where the owner also builds ponds? Hi, I'm Miranda Peruso. I'll be your second guide for the town trek. Sean tells me you're interested in hearing about ghosts? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Vintage art glass is nothing less than a glass garden, and an abundant one at that. It's almost cluttered, but in a very welcoming way. Parents may hesitate to take their children into a glass shop, but Leah is very passionate about teaching kids to love art early in life so it can be enriching to them. Kids can also be entertained by the stuffed animals and the real cat who you can often find lounging in the sun. The experience at Vintage Art Glass is unique because the owner knows the whole glass making process. Let's hear from her now. I own and, and run this wonderful business, Vintage Art Glass, located on the corner of 5th and Washington Streets in historic downtown Huntington. We've been at this location for 15 years and my wonderful building was built in the middle of the 1800s and it still stands and it's very majestic and very noble and we actually have experienced a ghost on this property and he's an interesting very loving fellow and we believe him to be the ghost of Jacob Hoffman Black who at one time had a, a restaurant here and the kitchen was in the basement and the stairway went down from my back hallway into the basement and he fell down the stairs and, and lost his life in 1913. And I feel his presence. He's a friendly character um, and I think he watches over the place and, and makes it interesting. And Doris Chisholm is one of our stained glass artists from the ancient borough of Huntington and she was born in 1863 and at the age of 30, she submitted a piece, a stained glass piece, in the Chicago World's Fair, and she actually won medals at that fair for her piece. She used to live at the corner of 4th and Penn Streets, and that's where she did most of her stained glass work. And a lot of her work can be still seen at J.C. Blair Hospital and in a number of the buildings on Penn Street and in the, the C old C.H. Miller building and I really feel blessed to be kind of walking in her footsteps that her spirit is here in the shop and her spirit is part of the borough of Huntington and when we do our stained glass walking tours in the fall that she's part of that when we take a group of people from ancient building to historic building we get to see her work and other stained glass artists work from that era and we're also very very honored to be part of the Heart of the Alleghenies Route 22 Artisan Trail. And my shop here at Vintage Art Glass is, I'm lucky to be a marketplace where I feature local artists work. And I'm also a working studio. So anytime I'm open, you can come in and watch me do the stained glass creation and production. Uh, I come into my back room, into the working studio and actually get to see the process of stained glass. We have a magical gift shop. Um, we're sitting now with the lights out and just all the stained glass lights on and I've got crystal and glass and blown glass and magical jewelry. Um, the process is working with people. I do a lot of custom design work and going into people's homes and seeing what they love and how they decorate and then bringing them to the shop and they select the glasses they want, uh, do a custom design for them and it's truly a process. It takes about 30 days. They take glass home and look at how glass is reflected in their home both day and night or if it's a business the same thing and they come back to the store and look at the design, approve the design and it's, it's wonderful working with people. It's wonderful having them become part of that creative design process and giving them something they've always dreamed about. One historical society member reminisced about this building back when. It was once the palace, the malt shop of Huntington, a piece of nostalgia if there ever was one. Cats aren't unique to vintage art glass either because one went to the palace every afternoon for a soda. The cat got to choose from root beer or sarsaparilla. There was no Pepsi or Coke. 
On the second floor, there was a lawyer's office, a dentist office, and a number of other businesses. He says, seems there was more activity in the second floor of that doggone building than the first. The place was a teenage hangout back in the 1920s and into the 30s. All you had to say was, meet me at the palace, and you could go there to pick up your dates. Very few people had radios, but the palace did, and it could get the KDKA station in Pittsburgh. On a Saturday, they would take the football scores for Juniata and the local high schools and mark them up on the window with paint or soap so people could keep up with the games. Crowds would gather around for updates on the World Series as well. Well, we've gone from fragile glass to more manly things like football and baseball, but the arts can be manly too, as Professor Jim Tootin will tell you at Stop 3.